this. Um, so I'm going to do some um, cleaning tips for you. But, but, can I just say, it's somebody's birthday. Today is his birthday. It's my Tiger Touch birthday today. He is nine years old. I'm not too impressed with that, I don't blame him. I realise that I've gone too far with this whole pussycat thing, so I'm just gonna get on with it. Right, so grease marks. When you get grease marks on your clothes, just getting straight into it. Grease marks on your clothes, um mummy mix absolutely swears by it. I don't know if I'm gonna tell you correctly, so I'm gonna have to um yeah, I'm gonna have to ask her if it's right. If it is, then cool. If not, I'll leave it down there. Any of these tips that I tell you, I will leave down there. Um, yeah, so, cleaning tips. <sighs> Greasy marks. Oh my God, my brain. Kind of a missionables off my cat. My brain's just turned to fluff. Um, yeah, get your golden syrup rub it on your grease mark on your clothes and then I think you just shove it in the wash I think that's all that mummy mix does um, and apparently it brings your grease marks out I didn't know this I haven't tried this she has it's first by it so there you go um, bicycle oil you get bicycle oil on you um, rub a bit of margarine in it that's off grandma mix bit of uh, margarine in it and apparently you just put a bit of fairy liquid on top if I remember rightly and shove them in the wash. Done. Um, lemon juice is good for freshening up your microwave. Um, just put it in a bowl of water, some lemon juice in a bowl of water, shove it in. It's also good for cleaning as well because the steam will remove any stuck on food um so yeah there you go um pet hair as you know tiger you get pet hair on you or on your furniture or anything a damp rubber glove just damp your glove whether it be your washing up gloves or i don't know it's mainly washing up gloves that are best um you just damp them and just like brush downwards and it all comes off brilliant Mummy Mix told me that, tried it, brilliant, works. Um, tin foil. Now, we can all sharpen our knives. That's easy. But how do you sharpen your scissors? How? Well, Mummy Mix told me how. Pardon me. Um, get some tin foil, fold it up, and then start cutting the tin foil, and it sharpens the scissors. Genius! Um, also, a tin foil is good for do the silver bit on your um, cooker, if you've got an electric cooker that is. Um, silver in general, I think. Um, scrunch a bit of tin foil up and just use that to clean. Apparently, that helps. Uh, furniture polish is really good for moving, removing sticky. Like, you know, like when you peel a label off and there's that sticky mark around. You spray some furniture polish on, leave it for a few minutes, and then wipe it, and it all comes off because the um, furniture polish will break down the glue. I don't know. But, yeah. Um, if you drop an egg on the floor, because egg is so hard to clean up, we all know it is. Um, Pour some salt on it, leave it for a few minutes, and then sweep that beggar into the pan. Done. Um, uh, bicarbonate of soda, again with the bicarb. Um, you get a bag, and you sometimes your favourite toy or whatever smells. So you put it in the bag with the bicarb, close it up, shake it up, shake it, shake it, leave it for a day maybe, 
take it out outside go outside and get it out and shake it all all the excess by carb off and it should smell really good yay um also another thing i think i'm remembering this right um i had a top in fact i think it was this top um and it smelled of damp i washed it and i washed it i used um antibacterial stuff i used all kinds i even used those um those little like bobbly bits that you put in the bottom of your thing and they meant to freshen everything up didn't work i was like oh my god what am i gonna do i even tried the bicarb didn't work i was like what's going on bicarb normally works but mummy mix said to me wash it but instead of putting powder in put white vinegar in i was like it was think of vinegar she's like no trust me it'll work did it smells gone it's gone i was like how the hell did that work what is the science in that seriously vinegar stinks so how, how could it get rid of damp It worked. Um, I just remembered another one that I haven't written down. Damn it! Oh, which one was it? There was another one. Oh, that was it. If you, for some reason, stick your stick your fingers together with super glue, put it in nail varnish remover. The nail varnish remover will break it down, and you'll be able to get free. You go that's all my tips for you if you like them please give a thumbs up if you have any of your own please let me know because i'm always open to try things out and um, i like trying things like the old remedies and stuff i always ring grandma makes up and go um, what's the old remedy for this and she goes oh it's such a and it works the old ways are the best i think personally um so yeah give it a thumbs up if you're new around here um, comment below I've done that one with your little tips or if you've got any questions for me to answer you on cleaning or in general why am I so weird I have no idea I get it from my mother my mother gets it from her mother her mother gets it from her god knows who but yeah um, yeah so I will see you next time in the video bye